So, as you know, I do a reasonably, or we do a reasonably popular uh, podcast. I spend a lot of my time after the podcast looking at this view, or something very much like it. Uh, this is the audio from a typical podcast. Uh, it, it is quite long, as you can see. Actually, this one's already been cut, so I'm cheating a bit. But usually, we've got over an hour of audio. Quite a bit of it needs to be cut out because we're not professionals. <laughs> and because of Joe. <laughs> because Joe swears like a sailor. Uh, down the bottom here, you'll see these little marks. These are the flood points. Uh, as we're recording, I start this little program that I've written called Flubber. And as we, as we record, if I need to take action at a particular point, I hit the button and I get a little mark which shows up in the Audacity Bookmarks format, which lets me see instantly where I've got to go in and fix things. Saves me a lot of time, saves me hours a week. So I wrote this little program many years ago, uh, well, three years ago now, called Flower. Uh, the time I wrote it, um, <laughs> so, there's a jet just landed in the car. <laughs> um, anyway, the time I wrote it, uh, Romain Guy was kind enough to do a makeover on it, and uh, it's been that way for a long time, I'm looking at the same one. This week, I decided I wanted to not only try and rewrite it in uh, both Flex and FX, but also to add some new functionality to it. So, uh, the first one, actually, James and I coded together, which I'm going to let James demo for you, uh, is Flex Flubber. Uh, it was really fun to write it. Um, it, my, my version of it ended up being kind of a black onyxy looking. We made it sexy. We made it, we made it yeah, sexy. To impress Joe. But I also wanted to try out the JavaFX side of things. So I'm going to show you the JavaFX one. Uh, so let's do the uh, run. <coughs> JavaFX Flubber is on its way up, and you'll see what it is. Uh, oh, Matt and. That was Bill and Joe. Oh, Bill and Joe. Bill and Joe were very, very kind in helping out um, with the awesome graphics of this thing. So the original had like a digital display for the time and stuff like this. This is the new version, and this is um, uh, quite a bit more, this is what you call the steampunk edition yes. of, uh, of Flubber. So anyway, if I hit the go, uh, you can see, I should have uh, put it on the speaker, that one. But you can see the little clock hands are moving here. Uh, you've got some drop shadow. It's, it's a, a really nice looking thing. And then if I hit either the, the flub button, oh yeah, we've got pulses. If you hit the flub button, you actually get the, the time marks in the, in the window at the bottom. And you also hit the, the clock face, because I need a nice big flub button. So anyway, that is FX, uh, FX flub, Flubber, written in Java FX. Thanks to Tor for helping me out when I got stuck. And uh, thanks to Joe and Bill for the awesome graphics. And now I'm going to hand over to my good friend, Mr. James Ward, who also helped me do the flex one. Yeah. Alright, so the, the flex one that, that uh, Dick built, we wanted it to be dark and sexy, so we did some, some nice skinning. This is very similar to the original flower, incidentally. This is yeah. the, the way the original one looks. So it, it flubs, you know, the usual thing. And, and but the cool thing that, that we did is we wanted to take the same skin used on the JavaFX version and put it on the Flex version. So if you double click somewhere, that's my little trigger to, oh, not that one, this one. So I built a couple different versions of this, this one. So this one takes Dick's version that we built and what it does is it allows you now to double click and switch over to this version uh, where we can do the same, same exact stuff here, you know, flubbing, oop, I double click. So we can switch back and forth between the skins, and uh, the cool thing is, is that it is externalized into style sheets. So we actually have these CSS files that describe this is Dick's dark skin and the Dick's sexy skin. So that's, we're just switching between those two different skins uh, when we double click on those. So so all the, the exactly. So that's uh, <laughs> okay. Anything else, Dick? Uh, I was going to say it's been a pleasure working with both of you guys, actually, and I've learned an awful lot. Never let it be said that I can't do UIs occasionally, although I certainly can come up with these graphics. But, uh, uh, and the, the one thing I will say is the new functionality, which I love, and I haven't been able to add it to the original Flubber because I didn't want to disrupt the beautiful Roman Guy uh, vintage skin was the ability to email, my, email myself the flubs uh, after one of the recordings so I can save them, but I never was able to email them, but now I can. Well, we've got 13 seconds left on the pod. We did it, man. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, sing Kumbaya and hug. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh.